Good morning. It's great to be back this Tuesday, the 11th of August. I'm Jessica Amir, market analyst with Bell Direct. Well, the Aussie share market put on a bit of a show yesterday, rising 1.8% to a three-week high. And today, the futures are suggesting the market will see a bit of a flat start or a 0.05% or 3% fall to be exact. Overnight, equities ended mixed. Traders trimmed tech stock profits with Facebook, Netflix and Microsoft shares falling around 2% or more. As a result, the Nasdaq fell 0.4% of a percent but held on to its gain of 21% this year to date. Quite a still again. On the flip side, US cyclical stocks charged. Bellwether Caterpillar rose 5% and Boeing also gained 5% with Nike following. As for the sectors, the energy and industrial sectors led the charge with the US benchmark, the S&P 500, ending 0.3% higher, just 1% of a puff away from its February all-time high, while the Dow Jones soared 1.3% higher. On the commodities front, the gold price soared $9.40 US or half a percent to 2037 US dollars an ounce, remaining near its brand new record high, while the oil price got a kick to $41.99 US a barrel, supported by one, an improvement in Chinese factory data, and two, the CEO of Aramco, the world's biggest oil Oil company said that he sees oil demand rebounding as Asian economies gradually reopen. So what else to watch today besides oil and gold stocks and of course the XJO? Well firstly the RBA minutes are released which should reveal more detail as to how much money the central bank injected into the financial system when the RBA purchased Australian government securities earlier in August. The RBA did that to provide the government with capital capital to prop up the economy, while it also wanted to drop the bond yield to its target of 0.25%. Now to earnings results. They're coming out thick and fast today for Challenger Coronado Global Resources. CGF and CRN are their tickers, as well as James Hardy, JXH, and Shopping Centres Australia or Australasia Property Group, rather, SCP. Now for three trading ideas, well firstly, Footwear Business Accent Group, AX1. They're showing a bullish uptrend according to Trading Central's charting. Their chart suggests their stock could rise from yesterday's close of $1.35 to between $1.68 to $1.76 over the next 31 days using standard principles of technical analysis. The stock is also backed by fundamental research. And for those that know the stock, you've seen, you probably have seen its exceptional online sales growth of late. It's a Bell Potter buy with a $1.80 target. And AX1 has already grown their shares 114% from their COVID-19 low, but it's still a fair way off its all-time high. Secondly, Bell Potter upgraded mining equipment business Mada Group, MAD, their buy rating and target to $1.22, implying 42% share price growth from yesterday's close price on the back of iron ore and gold industries growth. Now, Meta has been able to grow the majority of its business in the fourth quarter despite COVID-19, and it's guided for stronger growth in FY21 on the back of growth in the iron ore price and the commodity industry. Meta has Roy Hill as a client, and it's continuing to build its client book, which supports future growth. So that's MAD, a Bell Potter buy. And thirdly, Horizon Holdings, AZJ, after they provided their financial results, City has reiterated AZJ as a buy, but it dropped its price target to 515 with a lack of transparency in the outlook for coal. I'm Jessica Ramir with Bell Direct. Thanks so much for your company. Happy trading. Stay safe. Thank <laughs> you.